Behind me is the first uh, gill netter that's arrived today. Uh, it just docked about 20 minutes ago. Uh, it's the first of many vessels that are about to descend upon Lambert Channel. It's a seven kilometer stretch, which will soon become a gauntlet of herring trying to spawn on the beaches and industrial fishing vessels swooping them up before they've had a chance to lay their eggs. So this is of major concern to us because of all of the creatures that come to Hornby Island that need this fish they need it, it's not a want. They don't come here because they want to come here. They need the fish to eat as part of their survival. The whales, the birds, the sea lions, all these creatures come here around Hornby and Denver this time of the year. It's a phenomenal spectacle and we want to make sure those creatures will continue to thrive in these waters. DFO's test boat is out there right now. They're estimating there are 56,000 tons of herring out there. Um, we're concerned about this estimate because in the last 10 years, DFO has overestimated every single year the volume of herring that's out there and that can result in overfishing. It's really hard to believe it isn't a conflict of interest when you've got the people measuring the quantity of fish out there that Department of Fisheries and Ocean is going to make a decision on when the boat doing the measurement that's owned by one of the richest people in Canada that's going to be buying the fish owns the boats in the fishery. It doesn't sound very independent to us. And we think independent science, that's what it should be. Canada's Department of Fisheries and Oceans, which at the same time allows a fishery and regulates a fishery, and also represents the ministry which is supposed to protect the oceans. Unfortunately, DFO encourages the most intensive and unsustainable fishery, which exports the eggs to Japan and transfers the rest of the herring, the body of the herring, the head and the body of the herring, into fish meal and pet food. This number, 56,000 tons of herring, is the lowest number that we've seen in the Strait of Georgia since the 50s when they had to close the fishery down because of the collapse of the herring. We are so worried that they're harvesting the last tearing population for the last time. Despite over 118,000 signatures, a petition in the House of Commons, 53 municipalities, 13 Gulf Islands, First Nations group from Saanich all the way up to Comox, calling for a moratorium, DFO is letting a tragedy unfold and letting the industrial fishing lobby call all the shots. When will Minister Jordan stop ignoring all the public outcry and take action before there are no herring in the Salish Sea.